Hey guys, welcome to another video about the Redmi 4A and today we're going to install a ROM which is not available on XDA developers, which is not available probably anywhere. But uh, through a WhatsApp group, I got my hands on it and this particular ROM is based on Android 7.1.2. Now, that is not what makes it special. What makes it special is that it is an Android 1 ROM. So if you know there are a lot of de devices like the Nokia 7 Plus which come with Android 1 that is uh, you know pure Android like the Pixel devices. So that is the ROM that we're going to install on the Redmi 4A today and it looks pretty stable in my brief time with this particular ROM a lot of things are working. So couple of things before we begin if you haven't already please check this video out and that's where the latest giveaway is happening and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell icon at the same time I'll be putting up a poll. Here it is. If you want me to post videos in Hindi, let me know that. Or if you're okay with subtitles, please select that in that poll. Once again, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's begin. And before we begin, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP installed on your Redmi 4A. Make sure you have more than 50% battery on your phone. Now, if you want to know how to unlock the bootloader on any Xiaomi device, here's a card to that. Go ahead and have a look at that video. At the same time, if you want to know how to install MIUI 9 on your Redmi 4A, here's a card to that. So go have a look at those two videos and if you're done with those two and you want to install this beautiful ROM on your phone, let's go ahead and see the install process. So we right here have installed TWRP on our phone and make sure you back up all your data because we would not be responsible for any data loss. So what we need to do is first we will go to wipe, advanced wipe, then we will select Dalvik system data cache. So we will select everything except micro SD, USB, USB OTG and internal storage and then we will go ahead and swipe to wipe. There we go. So as you can see the wipe is now complete so we will go back to the home screen of TWRP then go to install first we will install this particular file now both these files are linked in the description one is the ROM itself and uh, one file is a bug fixer so you don't need to go ahead and install Google Apps because that is pre-installed in this ROM so first let's install this ROM here swipe to install All right, now as you can see here, the ROM is installed, but remember, we need to go back to the home screen, install, and we need to install this particular bug fix. So let's go ahead and install that as well. Now this is a small file, so that won't take a long time. Okay, so the installation is complete. Let's reboot system, do not install. So now this is the first boot, and if you are not new to my channel, you know that uh, first boot will definitely take a long, long time, uh, especially with Xiaomi phones, but this is a custom ROM, so it should not really, really take a very long time, but still expect a first boot time of five to 10 minutes. And uh, as my Redmi Note 5 Pro is up for a replacement, I'm using this phone as my daily driver. That is the reason uh, for the next one week, you'll be seeing a lot of videos of flashing and customizing for this particular phone that is Rolex aka the Xiaomi Redmi 4A. Okay, so that's the ROM that we have. Now the, that was the install process for you guys. Let me just show you quickly around this particular ROM here. Um, see, now as you can see, there is no root access. There is not much included in this ROM and this is like a pure, pure stock Android version. And it is very, very smooth compared to MIUI. As you can see, this is based on Android 7.1.2. Obviously, a lot of MIUI features are missing because this is not a ROM based on MIUI. But then again, if you want simplicity and if you want a ROM that gives you speed, even on a small device like the Xiaomi Redmi 4A, this is the ROM you should definitely, definitely give it a try. Um, camera experience might not be the best, but then again, let's see here. All right. So now the good thing is the back camera and the front camera is working just fine. I just clicked these two pictures and uh, apart from that, this is a very, very stock experience. And if you're a Geo user, you need not worry because voice over LTE is also included in this particular ROM. Now I can see I'm calling using the Geo number. All right. 
so that works as well so basically what i'm trying to tell you here is this is a very very stock experience that we have and uh, all the functions are working just fine you know most of the time in custom roms hotspot does it work so let's go ahead and quickly have a look at hotspot okay portable wi-fi hotspot let's turn it on there you go so hotspot is active as well voice over lt is working the camera is working there is no lag at all it is smooth as butter okay that's how the multitasking is and you have google now to the left so this is basically a very very stockish launcher that we have a stock android experience without many customizations and stuff like that personally i believe this is a very very good and very very stable rom uh, let me know in the comment section if you liked this particular video or not what are your thoughts on this particular rom if you will install it or not and before we go don't forget we are running a giveaway in which if we reach 10000 subscribers by the end of april 2018 we will be giving away a brand new redmi note 5 pro so nice talking to you guys i really hope you like this video If you didn't, you know what to do. Once again, this is Kalash signing off from Smartphone Tutorials. See you in the next one. Goodbye.